Hi guys, I wanted to make this video because I'm very upset about... Ooh, the lighting is changing. Um, I'm very upset about the fact that this is going to be my last Harry Potter movie ever that I'm going to see in just a few hours. And I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. I remember the first time that I saw the first Harry Potter movie and I heard the first, for the first time, the, you know, the theme music for Harry Potter in the opening credits. I remember that. I cannot believe that this is the last movie. I had not thought about the fact that these movies are actually going to end until the part one of Deathly Hallows. And I cannot believe that it's actually over. I'm just very depressed about it and I don't want it to be over. I don't know, it almost feels like New Year's Eve or like graduation or something. I don't know. Again, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what 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 it's like to not have another Harry Potter movie coming out. I there is no other Harry Potter movie to look forward to. There's nothing after this. And that's very weird, and I can't even comprehend it. I hope that the three Harry Potter stars realize that all of the fans are also going through the same thing they're going through because we've been watching these movies since the beginning and we don't know anything other than watching these movies because I've been watching these movies since the first one in theaters and I don't even remember anything before that. I guess if I get, you know, very sad about it after after I watch the movie, this ne the coming up movie, you know, months from now, years from now, I'll just wa re maybe reread the books. And I know I'll be watching the movies, you know, for for the rest of my life because they're movies, you could just put them on the TV. But I don't know, it's still very strange. I went to Regis and Kelly the other day, which I'm gonna make another video about that, um, so look out for that. But I'm also gonna make a review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 um, right after, you know, this, it'll be the next video after this. But um, I was at Regis and Kelly and I had tickets to see Rupert Grint um, live with, on the show, and so, um, I, I saw Rupert Grint in person, I've seen Daniel Radcliffe in person when I saw How to Succeed in Business without really trying, and, um, I've seen Emma Watson in person, so I feel, and I've seen Emma Watson and Rupert Grint in person just a few days ago, on Monday, so I feel like that was a very, I don't know, sort of, I got closure, I guess. I finally got to see all three of them in person, and now I'm going to be watching the last Harry Potter movie, so it's kind of like, I don't know. It's very final. Everything's sort of... But I really like the fact that I got to see them all in person. I cannot put into words how weird and sad and bizarre... I'm just so sad about it all. And like I said, I can't really put it into words, but... Um, Obviously, this video does not do it justice, but I just wanted to make one. So, like I said before, um, comment below if you are sad like me, <sighs> and if you're going to go see the movie, which I guess, obviously, you are. And that's it. That's all I can say. I can't... I don't even know what else to say. I'm so... <sighs> it hasn't hit me yet. It kind of is hitting me. I don't know. I don't know. That's it. Bye. <laughs>